you strange saying you changed like you worked that hard to stay the same. Like you're doing all this for a reason. And what happens most of the time, people change. People change around you because they start treating you different because of your success. Welcome to episode 116 of Boxes in the Basement. Thank you for taking the time to view the video. If you're tuned into the channel already, I appreciate you. If you haven't already, subscribe do all that other good stuff. My apologies. It's been taking so long for me to come out with the next episode. I've been locked into the gym training a lot of my players. They've been locked in, getting ready for the preseason, the upcoming seasons. They're trying to keep a steady pace with what they've been doing and they don't want to fall off or they want to prep prepare for the upcoming season. So I've been locked in with that. I will tag my Instagram handle on this video as well. So you can check that out. Got a lot of skill development, training, player development stuff on there. Drills and skills and just player improvement and development. I think you would enjoy. Thus, all of the performance shoes that I personally use and I do unboxings for, I do reviews for, where I give you the recent sneak that's out. I like to refer people to things that I know work for me and are good, and I can steer them another direction if I used it and it gave me some discomfort. So with that being said, this is the KD-16. Nike KD-16, the low top cut, I did cop it today, and then I put it to some use today. My left foot started going a little numb. I don't know if that's the shoulder board in there or uh, it just haven't been broken in. Some sneaks you need to break in before you perform in it. And I went right after I had the 2.30 and 3.30 session. Just about two and a half hours I was in the gym. And they worked good. Floor was a little slippery. They catch dust very well. The traction on this, I would say, will be good for a clean court. If the court hasn't been cleaned, uh, then it will give you a little bit of um, slippage. That's probably solely because of the translucent sole. If you can see the bottom of that, it's a, a teal or it's a clear translucent underneath. You can do your research or check the Nike website, or if you got the sneaker, look at the box and you can find out what materials they have. There's a little bit of spider legging going on, but the impact absorption on this does have kind of that split polymer, whereas this white material and this blue material is kind of the same but then it has this harder TPU that bleeds over from the sole into the midsole to the actual upper canvas of the shoe. I do like this colorway, the black and then the purple I was going to get. I wanted some variation, some color, some variety, and then this had the purple and the blue, and then it has that uh, lighter imprint up top. So I seen these in the NYC colorway, they were all maroon, I didn't want that I wanted just something that gave a little bit more. And as you can see, no light is on it. That's just like a silver line that goes around. But if lighting is on it, it has that uh, 3M on there, which shines, which would be good for taking pictures. I want you to size. Uh, if you go half a size up, it, get, it will give you a little bit of space in the toe. So if you're a wide footer, I would go with that. But more importantly, once you break it in, it may give you too much room. So you might want to try it on. I know some sneaks, especially Nike, you got to go up half a size, but these ones were true to size, so I would recommend that if you're a narrow footer. Nothing really special to it, just the regular traditional eyelet. Let's check the sole, I didn't even check the sole. It doesn't have a drop in midsole, but I do believe it has a strobe board in the bottom. See that, but it's a strobe board in the bottom, which I believe goes across the whole bottom of the shoe. That's it, KD-16, just give you something to think about for your upcoming seasons. If you haven't copped anything, this might be something you wanna try. Go to the store, try it on, see what you like. So episode 116, Box in the Basement. Appreciate you guys. Until the next time, take care.